Hope everyone's having a great day. This is Jay from JD's Retirement Journey. For those new to the channel, we document our journey into retirement. We talk about investing and saving. Today, we're going to take a quick look at Realty Income, symbol O, the monthly dividend company, and see why I keep investing despite having over $28,000 and 516 shares in this company. If you're enjoying this type of content, please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. It'll really help out the channel. As we go into Realty Income, as you can see by this slide, all this information is right off their uh, website, the uh, investor presentation for this quarter. They've been a public company since 1994, and the earnings have been great. 13.6 uh, compound annual total return since 94. The uh, annual dividend growth rate compounded 4.3 consecutive monthly dividends declared 646 and they increased the dividend 106 times. This is great for us dividend investors. I love this. As you can see from this slide, Realty Income is one of the biggest REITs in the world. 73 billion enterprise value, the annualized base rent 4.8. It's been operating for 55 years and it's approaching 16,000 uh, commercial real estate properties. They're very diversified, as you could see. Uh, 646 monthly dividends declared, 106 consec consecutive quarterly increases, and it's an S&P dividend aristocrat. That means they've been paying dividends for more than 25 years, increasing their dividends, which is great. As you could see, 4.3 dividend increases there. And uh, they're growing their portfolio in Europe. They, they just invested over uh, 300 million this quarter alone, as you're gonna see in the uh, following slides coming up. Yeah, first quarter earnings were just released, 5-6-2024. Uh, they matched the analyst expectations uh, of funds from operations at $1.03, but they did beat on the revenue. They were expecting uh, 1.19 and they came in at 1.26 billion, which is great. The first quarter highlights, um, they invested $598 million and the cash yield on that was 7.8%, which is a great return. And like I said, about half of that was invested in uh, UK and Europe. The first quarter investment volume included $38 million in a data center a joint venture, which is great. They're investing in other types of properties. We closed a 9.3 billion acquisition of Spirit Realty on January 23rd. And they, they affirmed the guidance of 413 to 421, which represents a 4.30 uh, growth from uh, the midpoint. You guys could read the rest. It's all good stuff. And, uh, and there's more to come. I see this company growing. There is a ton of growth potential in the real estate market in this world. As you could see in the U.S., there's 5.4 trillion addressable market. And as you go over to Europe, there's an 8.5 trillion addressable market. Realty income is starting to basically invest in uh, verticals, as they call it. They invested in a data center. They're expanding in France, Germany, and Portugal. As you can see by this slide, there is a strong demand for data centers. And it's going to be a long-term growth, which is going to be great for this company. They just keep investing. They got into a, a joint venture which, with Digital Realty. And they uh, got into a data center in Virginia, which is the biggest market basically for data centers in the world, according to their uh, one of their slides. They're also partnering with uh, the biggest uh, retail uh, sports uh, company in Europe. And they just keep growing, as you could see. You know, they keep growing and it's just great. I, I, I just love it. These numbers are so good, they're worth repeating. A 13.6 annual return since it was listed in 94. 
The beta is 0.5, which is really low, no volatility. So it's pretty cool. Anything over one and it's very volatile. This is a pretty steadfast company. They keep increasing the dividends. Compound annual dividend growth rate, 4.3. This is great. It's an S&P 500 dividend aristocrat, which they, they increased the dividends over 25 years. 27 out of 28 years of positive earnings per share growth. This is just great. Continued uh, for position for continued growth. 14 trillion estimated global net lease addressable market. They're just going to keep growing. Even in downturns when the economy is, is in a recession, they do better than most companies, as you can see from this slide. And even in the pandemic, they did better than most of their peers and S and P five hundred companies, which which is great. You can't you can't you can't beat this. You know it has a strong balance sheet, as you can see from this slide, and it's very and the liquidity they, and borrowing costs are enhanced by the financial flexibility, as you can see by this slide, and they're very diversified. You can see all their uh, high quality uh, clients in this slide. It, it's just a great company. The stock is trading at a 54.87 as of a 510.24. The 52 week range is 45 to 64. I've been buying more, especially when it was under 50. I bought a lot more to cost average. I'm still losing a few dollars, but this is a strong company. Once the interest rates start coming down later this year, this is just going to start taking off. So. It's a good time to buy in, I guess, when uh, when everyone is afraid, like uh, Warren Buffett says. And as we look at the dividend, this is my favorite uh, dividend stock. They pay monthly. It's uh, it's approaching almost six percent because it's it's down so much. You know, it's five point six three, and we're gonna get a dividend next week, which is always nice. It's gonna work out. I get about one hundred and thirty two dollars uh, a month right now, and I reinvest the dividend. So we just keep growing. And the analyst basically Refinitive has a, a price target of almost 60. S&P Global has a, a hold rating on this stock. But as I said, I love this stock. You know, do your research, talk with your financial planners. You know, I'm not a financial planner. So what's right for me and my wife may not be right for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck.